In this Blender tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use the Rigify add-on in Blender to quickly rig four-legged creatures like cats. The Rigify add-on in Blender allows you to take a mesh that has four legs and then instantly rig it with controllers with not much work. In order to use the Rigify add-on in Blender, you need to make sure it's installed. To do that, go to Edit Preferences. Then under Add-ons, type in Rig. It should be here, and if you don't have the check mark, go ahead and click the check mark. This has the Blender icon, meaning it's installed by default. Once you have the Rigify add-on activated, you can go back to your model. Here I have a cat, and this cat is available for download in the description. Press Shift A to get an armature. Under Rigify Meta Rigs, we have many choices. We have some complex animals, and we have a basic human and a basic quadruped rig. I'm going to select basic quadruped, and then the rig comes in. As you can see, it's a four-legged rig, and it has a tail. In order to see the rig better, with the rig selected, select the armature, then viewport display, and we want to click in front. This keeps the rig in front, so we can see where we're placing the bones. Then, tab into edit mode to adjust the rig. In Blender, make sure you look from one side, so you can easily see the rig. When selecting, we want to make sure that we select the different points by using a selection marquee. That makes sure that we select the one behind it and both of them are fine. We can also choose symmetry. So if I go here, I can choose X symmetry and that will allow me to move the pieces like this. So if I type GX, both of them will move. This is not necessary to do, but if you have a symmetrical model, it can be very helpful and speed up the rigging process. So right here, click X symmetry or Y symmetry, depending on how your rig and model are oriented. Sometimes your rig and model may be very different size. Go ahead and scale the rig appropriately. Then just work around the creature, putting the different bones and joints where they should be in the creature. There's a couple points that you want to look out for this joint we want to keep together. Continue to move the pieces to where they go. One spot to pay attention to with a four-legged rig in Rigify is this tail section. If I select this bone right here and I move it, it is disconnected. For the rig to work, these need to be in the exact same spot. You can fix that later, but in order to avoid that, just select this bone, hold shift, select this bone, then press G. Then you can rotate the bone, press G. And if I select this bone right here, I can move this independently. It's just this joint right here, the root of the tail, that's the problem. Continue moving all your bones into place. The other place you'll have issues with your Rigify rig is right here in the front. As we're moving the neck around, if I accidentally select this bone here and we disconnect it, that will also cause problems when generating the rig. I'm going to leave this like this to show you how to fix the problem. If this happens and we want these to be connected, simply select the bone that's in the proper place, press Shift S and then cursor to select it, then select this bone, Shift S, selection a cursor, and now we're snapped back together so you won't have any errors. Next, we need to check from the front to make sure everything is correct. And remember, we have symmetry on. We can select one to press G, X, and move it over, and the other one will move two. We'll also look from behind, and this is looking pretty good. Maybe move these in just a little bit. Take a look around your rig. Make sure that everything is where it should be. Once you're happy with your rig, we're ready to create the rig. That can be done in pose mode or object mode. I'll go to object mode, then over here on the armature tab, just click generate rig. Once the rig is generated, we can hide the actual bones that we used. In object mode, select the mesh, then select the rig, then under object, select parent, armature to form with automatic weights. That's it, the rig is complete. Then in pose mode, we can select different parts of the rig. We can press R, Z, and then we can move our character just like this. 
We can press GZ, move it up and down. You can select the larger parts of the armature, press G, and the rig is going to respond accordingly. So this is a very quick way to be able to get your rig so it is easy to use in animation. And then all of these parameters are keyframable. So hopefully this allows you to have four-legged creature rigged with meta rig in Rigify in Blender. Happy 3D modeling.